Because I think small business here in the state of Connecticut is incredibly important. And I think it's incumbent upon the state of Connecticut to support small business. And I'm just disappointed that after two years of working as a business advocate for the state of Connecticut, visiting one business a day, every day, five days a week, over 400 businesses in 22 months, the Democrats decided I was too busy promoting free enterprise that I thought was a fundamental American value. And so they pulled the plug on my job and I was out of a job as of 1st of January. Well, that was bad news for me for the time being. But then when I got confirmed as business advocate for the state of Connecticut, I made a pledge to Governor Rell and to the Democrat leadership of the legislature. If I'm confirmed in this job, I will serve out until the end of her term in 2010. Well, guess what? They took my job away. They put me out on the street in January. So now I am a candidate running against Senator Dodd to take the U.S. Senate seat in the year 2010. They never should have let me out of that box. But I feel liberated. And I feel excited. And I feel as a Republican that the Republican Party here in the state of Connecticut, the Republican Party in New England, the Republican Party in America is coming back. And it is coming back. And we are coming back. Because our Republican values are so important. It's what I believe in, and I hope it's what you believe in. The value of freedom or liberty, going right back to Abraham Lincoln, who signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which was the largest freeing of human beings in America in our history. Liberty is a Republican value. The Republican Party promoted the vote for women. The Republican Party. So that my grandmother, who was born and raised in a country where she couldn't vote, was able to vote when she was 22 years old, <coughs> after we amended the Constitution, Republicans worked to amend the Constitution to get women to vote. And with that freedom, a belief in personal responsibility, that if we are a free people and an educated people, we can be responsible for our own lives. We don't need the government to take care of us from the very beginning to the middle to the end of our lives. We need the government to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. And for the rest of it, give us the freedom to make the choices in our lives. Republicans who have supported conservation, which is a conservative value, beginning with Yosemite National Park, preserved and protected originally by a Republican. Does anybody know who that was? Good answer? Wrong. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was the first president to secure the protection of Yosemite National Park. Second question, which Republican president secured Yosemite? Not Yosemite, but uh, um, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Good answer. <laughs> Wrong. Ulysses S. Grant. Which Republican president secured more forest land and park land than any other president in the history of our country? George Bush. <laughs> Who said Taylor? Right. <laughs> that was Teddy Roosevelt. Which Republican president created the Alaska National Wildlife Refuge? Good answer? Wrong. <laughs> Dwight Eisenhower. And which Republican president signed the Clean Air Act? Nixon. Nixon. Who said Nixon? Right. <laughs> so why is it that the Democrats think they're the only party that cares about the environment? We need to be proud of who we are. We need to be proud of our record. We need to promote our history the things that we have done and the values that we have as a party. And that's what I believe and that's what I am trying to do and I've been trying to do in my public life. Who is Rob Simmons? Rob Simmons
Simmons is the guy who raised his right hand many years ago and swore an oath to uphold the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America as a young military officer. And at Fort Benning, Georgia, after completing the infantry OCS, he was given an officer's guide which said, among other things, public office is a public trust. Public office is a public trust. You are running for a public office, and when you win, that will be a public trust. It's not about you, and it's not about me. It's about the people you serve and the people I serve, whether I'm a military officer or a CI officer, which I was for 10 years, or a member of the Connecticut General Assembly, or a staff person for Senator Barry Goldwater for four years, or a member of the House of Representatives for three terms, or the business advocate of the state of Connecticut. This is my career, these are my public offices, and this has been my public trust. And I have always, always, always tried to use the power of those offices to do good for others, whether it was my soldiers in Vietnam, whether it was the agents I recruited and ran as a spy for the CIA in foreign countries, and is where victory lies. And the grassroots favors us and our issues, our issues for less taxes, our issues for cutting the deficit, our issues for cutting spending, and our issues of supporting free enterprise. Free enterprise that allowed my grandfather, at 14 years old, to go to work, son of an immigrant, living in a ghetto in Brooklyn, at 18 to become a bookkeeper for his father in a family business, and at 80 to run five family businesses and be a success and to see his son go to college, the first member of his family to go to college. That's what America is all about. That's what free enterprise is all about. That's what hard work and personal responsibility is all about. And what I see today, in this country is socialism, womb to tomb, government involvement in our lives. And that has to stop. I didn't spend four years in Vietnam, ten years in the CIA, and four years working for Barry Goldwater against the Soviet Union and the communist threat in Asia just to see socialism rise here at home. 